it's almost time to news. How much does that change what you were guys planning to implement for this week of practice or the yeah. whole yeah. camp? It doesn't change anything. Uh, um, all of our guys run the same plays. Uh, we, we we prepare them all to run the offense the same in the same manner. So it, it's, it doesn't change anything that we do. It, what, it, what it changes is it changes the guys that are doing it. So some of those guys who are waiting in the wings now have to, have to step up and and, uh, and, and help out and take off, pick up some of the slack. Natural assumption is Byron Marshall would maybe get some carries with the guys, but uh, Lubick yesterday said he's 100% receiver so far. Is it uh, if you need him, then you'll bring him over, or you plan eventually to bring him back over to running back? Yeah, I think that decision would be made. Once we get a, get a little bit deeper into camp, uh, you know, we've got some young guys that I think are pretty talented, and uh, if those guys can't step up and make it happen, then, then Byron is always that option. But right now, Byron is a receiver, and he's not getting any work at running back. Who are some of those younger guys that have jumped out at you? Well, they all jump out at me. Uh, I, I, Tony James is a guy that uh, uh, that we're grooming, and I hope will be able to uh, step up. Uh, uh, Kanai Benoit is, is, is uh, a guy that's always been right there. Uh, he had a real good spring. Um, uh, Taj Griffin is um, is getting healthy, and uh, he's in the process of really uh, learning the offense. So I think he, he's going to be a viable candidate as well. Okay, so first few days of fall camp, how's it going? It's going good so far. Just all getting the basics down, getting to learn teammates, and like he plays all over again. And coach the uh, newcomers. What's the rotation been like without Tynus, excuse me, without Thomas Tyner in the backfield for you guys? Um, like the order that. Well, like you know, who, who's kind of stepping up behind? Oh, us? okay. Uh, it's been Royce, Kana, me, Taj, uh, Jared, uh, JJ. Uh, I think I'm sticking somebody. And basically, we just been getting. I'm going like um, every three reps or four reps. What, yeah, what's the composition been like specifically with you and Kanai? Uh, it's been good actually. Uh, he come and make plays, I come in and make plays. Um, it's been competition, but yeah, we still can pee with each other and pick each other up and teach each other like some things that we forget with them plays. It's just two days, three days mm -hmm. camp. How are things going for you? Uh, good, man. It's always kind of the same thing uh, each year. You know, the first couple of practices, we have so many new guys out there. Shaking the rust off a little bit and just you know trying to execute a little better each day. How often do you speak to these markets? Um, I try to talk to them a couple times a week, um, just kind of staying in touch and checking in on each other. So it's, you know, it's kind of weird being both in camp but kind of at different places in the How much advice does he kind of send you? Yeah, just little things. Um, you know, you know, just you know, stay, keep confidence in yourself. Just take it day by day and do the best you can. That's all you can do, and that's just kind of what I've been trying to do. Right. As a senior, it's my job to step up and be more of a leader to the young guys, show them how to practice, how to work hard. Um, and just help push the team to be that much better and get everybody to work that much harder. Is there any way of explaining what sort of the identity, the, the fingerprint of this offense is a couple days in the camp? Uh, not yet, not yet. We're still trying to get the feel for everything. Um, everybody just out here just really trying to get back in shape and just work hard. So no identity yet.